Welcome to this lab. In this lab we're going to create a lightweight polyline. So let's continue working on our draw objects uh, project and we will build our method uh, create or draw P line in that uh, project. Let's get going. So I have also created the uh, the code structure here. This is our new method, draw p line. We have the document object, we have the database, the, the transaction. We have also the editor. We have the block table and then the block table record. So all we need to do now is specify the the polylines properties like the the vertices so let's get started polyline pl equals new polyline so let's start adding new vertices add a vert vertex add this will be the first the vertex the, the the starting point the first vertex zero new uh, point 2d that will be let's start from zero and then the next argument here is bulge let's just create zero we don't need a bulge and what is the width of the the start width let's just make it zero zero all zero we don't need to create a, a, a weight for the polyline so next Let's add another vertex. So this the index now would be one. New point two D. Start at ten ten. Also the bulge is zero. Start with is zero and the end with is zero. So we can basically just copy this over and then change the coordinates. So let's say let's just keep incrementing by ten. We're basically drawing a straight line diagonally. Uh, let's create two more vertices. And this is the last vertex, the end point. Okay. Now we have our polyline object. Let's set the defaults. And add into our block table record append entity pl and append a newly created object into our transaction add it and then we can now commit the transaction so that's about it so in polyline, all you have to do is create the vertex, the vertices, depending on how many vertex you would like to create. And then set the default, add into the block table record, add into the transaction, and commit the transaction. So let us save our project. Do a rebuild done let's open autocad so uh, the name of our method is draw p line okay so now we can load our plugin net load draw objects so now let's try our draw p line method there you go zoom extends there is our p line how can we make sure that all our vertices are created? So let's do the p edit command, polyline edit, and e. So basically, it will move from vertex to vertex. Okay. P edit. Yeah, those are our vertices. 
Good. So we've learned uh, how to create different objects using C Sharp. I hope you have uh, learned uh, quite an amount of uh, new knowledge here. So we'll continue with our course. I'll see you in the next video.